good morning dear children in this module we are going to discuss a new chapter named measure of dispersion so children in our previous chapter we have studied how to sum up the data into a single representative value that is mean median or mode however that value does not reveal the variability present in the data in this chapter you will study those measures which seek to quantify the variability of the data if you define the measures of dispersion in statistics dispersion is also called as variability scatter or spread it is the extent to which a distribution is stretched or squeezed common example of measures of statistical dispersion are the variance standard deviation and interquartile range here in this diagram we can see the examples for that here in this center it is same and the variations are different and in the year 2000 close dispersion and in the year 2015 we can see the wide dispersion and better quality data it's in the data of year 2000 so here in this diagram we can see such variations in the curves of the diagram if we discuss the characteristics of an ideal measures of dispersion the first one is it should be rigidly defined second one it should be easy to understand and calculate next is it must be based on all observations of the data so children the first characteristics of an ideal measure of the dispersion is it must be rigidly defined then only that information will be more precise for others and it should be easy to understand and calculate the next one is it should be based on all observations of the data that means what all the observations are given in the data it should be based on all the observations then only the information will be very correct so children this is about the measure of dispersion so children actually this lesson helps us to understand those measures which seek to quantify the variability of the data and various measures of dispersion are also there and it is also based upon the spread of values the various measures of dispersion are a range quartile deviation mean deviation standard deviation etc so children all these deviations we'll discuss in the next module so thank you children for watching this video